Welcome, mortals. I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and we're back with Reketeer. Slightly earlier than I had intended to be, but... Yeah, I, uh... Yeah, okay, he's not going to start racketing at... Racketing? Is that words? That's not words. Waffling. Don't waffle at me again, Tia. Right, um... So, yes, originally the intention had been to, pl had been to play literally any other game today. Um, just because I wanted a short 20 minute video just to put up, because I know the last two videos I put up have been like an hour long, which is a lot to ask for some people. Um, so I went, oh, I'll play Surgeon Simulator. So that's what I did yesterday. I played Surgeon Simula Simulator, recorded a bit of it, and it was absolutely not worth your time watching. I, it, my gameplay was bad, my commentary was bad, so I decided I would just leave it. And I'll play Racketeer again. Because Racketeer is fun. The tiny bit I've had a chance to play. So. Let's see. Um, I What I want to do today. Is go adventuring. My only concern is. That if I do that. They're going to tutorialise me to death again aren't they? Um, let's. let's yeah let, let's go. Let's go have a look at the adventuring bit. Get that out of the way. Oh. Well. Never bloody mind then. Right, if I go... Right, so I can go straight back and no time will pass. Why is the town square flashing at me? I bet that means there's a thing to do. Right, okay. Oh, maybe it just means another cutscene thing will happen. Okay. Receipt. Hmm, I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. I said I was going to give them voices, and I haven't yet, because... I'm going to be honest. While I make jokes about being the best voice actor of all time, I c will not be able to give these two characters a voice that in any way, shape or form suits their designs. I just, I don't have that kind of voice. Um, so yes, for the moment I will just speak relatively normally and hope for the best. Um, that when we look at Tyr again, there's something that's been bothering me about her design that I want to talk about, but we'll deal with that in a second. Right, receipt. Hmm, I love being able to like, relax in the plaza like this. I said that already, didn't I? Tia, you never seem to have trouble relaxing even when we are not in the plaza. Eh, uh, well, it's healthy, right? What was the point of that? Why? What? That offered no new information, that didn't give me any bonuses, that didn't do anything, it just showed the two characters interacting. We know the characters interact. What a goddamn waste of time! And as a result, now when I go back I'm going to have lost a time slot. Well, sod, let's just go everywhere since that won't cost any time. Yeah, nobody in the chapel. Pub's not open. Of course the pub's not open. Right, what have we got? We've got 839 monies. So let's... What's the cheapest thing? Muffler. Buy a muffler. Oh, stop it. What's that? Okay. Let's see. Unthankful statue. We'll take one of them. So I didn't actually look at these while I was playing last time. Uh, but noticed in the, um, when I was doing the editing, Less Infortunates is clearly a pun on Les Miserables. Uh, Les Miserables literally meaning the, not the miserable, as you might think, but the unfortunate, or the wretched is another interpretation I've heard. So, yes, it's, it's, it's making a joke. Uh, while people agree that this book is a masterwork, the huge character list is hard to keep track of. Now, see, that isn't my issue with um, Les Miserables, in terms of the book. This, the musical and the film, absolutely fantastic. Love them to bits. Um, I would love to be able to sing uh, Jean Valjean's songs. I don't quite have that register, because he goes... Jean Valjean's song work is very interesting, in that it goes quite low and goes quite high, so you need to have a great range to be able to sing all of his parts. Um, but I love Javert as a character as well. He's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's just the complexity of the character is brilliant. Anyway, not what I'm talking about. The problem I have with the book is that I'm 90% sure Victor Hugo was paid by the word. Because he waffles on about some completely unrelated bollocks half the time. 
And I know bollocks. I talk pretty much exclusively bollocks. Not quite as much as Neo Rambler, but that's his thing. <laughs> Joke for the day. Anyway, um, but yeah, so one part that sticks out in my mind. Because it started off, I was reading it going, Oh, this is good. It's giving me more backstory about the bishop who serves... He basically kickstarts the story, but it's got no particular part in most of it. But it's given the backstory of him and, you know, um, what is his, uh, um, his life before meeting Jean Valjean. was like, oh, that's quite interesting. Uh, and then it talks about Jean Valjean, and then they meet up and all that sort of stuff. But as I'm going through, and more and more times it keeps cutting away to do segues about nothing. Um, kind of like what I'm doing with this game, as it turns out. But I think that the, the point where I drew a line and said, I can't read this book anymore, it's too crap. Um, was when it was introducing um, the innkeeper, the Nadier, um, who is uh, his big song is Master of a House. It's lots of fun. Actually, um, another segue, because why the hell not? When I was at secondary school, um, I'm sure most schools have this, but they divide the, um, the uh, school years into sort of quadrants, um, houses, much like your, your Hogwarts houses, as it were. Um, and then those houses then compete in various things. Um, and I was a house captain, and we were we were told, all right, so we're going to get you these um, uh, hoodies with you know house captain written on the back, and we're going to get you these uh, polo shirts with with house captain on, um, but they're personalised, so you could put your own sort of nickname on the back of them. Um, and they said, well, what nickname would you like? And I thought about it for a minute, and went, oh, I'd like Fernadier. Because his big song in Les Miserables, as I said, was Master of the House. And that's effectively what I was. House Captain, Master of the House. I thought it was a pretty good joke. Absolutely nobody got it. Because of course they bloody didn't. Why the hell would they? <laughs> ah, good sound. Anyway, but when it's describing Thanadier in the book, it starts off by doing this incredibly long, detailed description of the Battle of Waterloo. For basically no reason. The only reason it even brings it up is because Thanadier pickpockets the corpses at the end. But it does this huge description about how great the French were in this battle that they lost, and all this other absolute gibberish. They didn't make any content, any sense. There was no context to the rest of the story. Just a waste of everyone's time. And all they needed to say was one sentence. Thanadier grew up here poor, stole money from the Battle of Waterloo at the end. I think there was some character he met who I imagine comes in, um, becomes important later. That was all they needed to put, but they didn't. They had this huge... It was given. Anyway, Les Pensieurs... Oh, the city is called Pensy. Okay, I hadn't, I hadn't picked up on that. So that's about the city, but obviously I don't think I'll be able to... Can I read these, you reckon? Or are they just here? Wings of Eldon. And that's just a, a book. So that's a reference joke, that's informational guide, and that's just a story. Boy named Kuto, who tames a dragon. Stone Kuto's found in the Okay, so maybe that's a story about some of the things I can find in there. Anyway, not important. I want to actually buy stuff. What am I doing? Let's see. Uh, summer sandal. No, it's expensive, expensive. Got one of them already. Right, let's buy some food. I, the, we sold some of the walnut bread for a decent amount, didn't we? Um, they're quite expensive. Uh, let's buy an apple as well. So I've got to try and somehow make like 10 grand in a week, which isn't going to happen. Right, uh, so we've been everywhere. There's no point going to the Merchant's Guild, I don't think, because I've already bought stuff for the market. I can't go to the Adventurer's Guild, so... Right, let's try and sell things. Uh, not the muffler, let's put apple there. And let's put... The Unthankful Stone there. So, have I got two walnut breads there, or am I literally only putting one item out at a time? And we'll put the muffler there. Oh, so no, I can't put out more than one at a time. Okay, let's let's try and sell some of this stuff. Oh. Hello there, person. You want a bow? How much for that? Well, how about I sell it two years for... Uh, Five thirty-five. That's not an unreasonable price. That's too expensive. Make it cheaper. All right. How about I'll take it back down to five thirty then. There we are. Money for the Dark Lord. Hooray! We sold a thing. Someone else buy stuff. Hello, old man. You want the focus staff? 
Well, how about... Uh, 390... Oh, 400, why not? Too much. Tell you what, I'll take five off it for you. How's that? That you should buy it, that, shouldn't he? It's reasonable enough. Reasonable enough my anyway. Glee! Fold the, sold the focus staff. Fold the focus staff. Shut up. Right. So I basically just sold all my weaponry and bugger all else. I guess that's the, that makes sense. That's the stuff people were coming into the shop to buy because that's what they were seeing from the window. There's the infinity gauntlet over there. So let's maneuver some of this stuff. Let's take that back. Let's put that over here. Um, clothes of muffler. Let's put the raincoat in the window. Um, we'll keep the shield to the side there. Glove, charm, that's. Uh, let's move the muffler. Not what I meant to put there. Let's move the muffler to the window as well, and we'll put the bread in the middle. And that's all I've got. Right, well, there's no point in going out or doing anything else, so. Let's keep selling stuff. I just got flooded by old men now. What do you want? You want souvenir charm? Sure thing, buddy. It's yours for three ninety five. A little bit left. I get the feeling that it doesn't really matter what my first offer is. If it's in this area, they'll always ask for less. Provided it's not completely out, uh, out of their price range. It's a bit of a pity. I'd like to... Wait a minute. I've only... Oh, no. I, do... I was going to say, I only have old men in the store. But I do have um, this fellow here. This is for sale, right? It's a shop. It's in the shop window. Of course it's for sale, you stupid, stupid man. 300. Of course it's not really that much. Uh, that much. Okay, right. So if I go way over, they'll always try and haggle it down. For again, I don't go completely out of the range. Okay. So the old muffler should be 50. Well, let's, yeah, let's, uh... Oh, 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 oh. That's... 144. Yes, I can go a little bit lower, in fact. Let's go... There. Madness. Yeah, okay, I was pushing it there. Are you going to yell at me again? Oh, god damn. Right. This is the thing that's bothering me about Tia. Okay? Is it just me, or are those wings coming out of her backside? Because I've never seen a fairy design with wings that low. Usually they come out of either, sort of, the lower back, sort of behind the belly button, or usually the sort of uh, centre in between the shoulder blades. That's the usual placement for wings. But if you look at the sort of, the focus point of, you know, where her wings seem to be designed, they're becoming right out of her ass. And I don't know whether that's just me looking at it weird, or whether I'm looking at the wrong part of the of the wing. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at sort of like the... So you've got these two sort of lines coming out the bottom. And then you've got the sort of um, the webby bits coming out the top. Am I supposed to be looking at that pointy bit at the top as the, the focus point of the wing? Because as far as I can... The way I can only see it... Is coming out the bottom of that the uh, the wing. I'm explaining this really badly, but they just, the wings just look too low for the character design for me, and it looks like she's flying around using arse wings, and that's weird. And I, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> but I also don't not like it enough to stop playing the game. I just think it's an odd design. I'm explaining this badly. I am aware. Let's just move on. Well, then you seem to have developed a basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. But is that an actual risk? Have I been risking people? Have I been risking arson this entire time? Yepperoni, easy as pie. Being a truly great store involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people will want to sell items to you as well. Really? I suspect you will begin to get such offers soon. So that's. Okay. So, last episode, it pops up with that thing at the end of the day saying what you've bought, what you've sold, and whatever. And I was confused because the bought section was always completely empty, even if I'd, you know, bought a bunch of stock earlier in the day. So I was confused. Right, but I already buy stuff from the guild and the market, so why should I worry about buying stuff from the customers? There's one major difference between a guild or market purchase and a purchase from an individual. 
Individuals do not have set price. In other words, you can haggle as you do. So, haggle down, obviously, yeah. So I can get stuff really cheap. That seems like it'd be pretty hard. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell. And you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you wish to pay less than the base price of the item. Buy low, sell dear. Yes. So, so that's the core of a successful business. Now, shall we practice? Funnel enter procedure is the same as when selling. Kayo. I know they're trying to sort of do a, a variation of OK, but Kayo... It would be K-O, surely. I don't know why they've tried to... I don't know, it's that's a weird... Gym. Right, welcome to Rex here. Would you like to buy this item from me? Okay, lower the base price. Big press... come on. Do we really need four text boxes for make this price lower? So, if I sell for 30... for 30%, it makes sense to try and buy for around 30% less, so... Give me 600 for it. Wait, that was a good price level? Okay. Just your price until they agree to sell. Deggy, begin. A little more. You think it's worth a lot? Okay. So... But I don't want to try quite going to 70% if I can avoid it. 65. 50 and 70 is a good base. Yeah, good area to aim for. Get an item without to sell without giving up too much money. That's essentially how it goes. Decent grass. Are you going to make me do this like eight times again? I'll sell you several items if you buy them from me successfully. I believe you're ready to proceed. Let's begin. Yeah. I understand how you need to uh, tutorialize things. You don't need to tutorialize it to this degree. This is absurd. Right. Oh. So. Let's get it. 50%. That one was bugging me. 50%. Excellent price. Okie dokie. So perhaps I should go for slightly lower than 50% then. Thanks, bye. Tayaki. Oh, I love Tayaki. I actually bought a Tayaki pan not too long ago and haven't got round to uh, making anything with it yet. 500. Really? I don't want to practice again. I didn't want to practice those times. Right, um, so I've got 2,000 monies, I've got one, not many days to get 10,000. I do not think this is going to end well. What happens if I don't meet the arbitrary 10,000 limit? Hello person. Yes, a raincoat is indeed for sale. Sell it here for, oops, not that much. Oh, come on, go to the... 150. Buy it for that. Yes, I can indeed make it cheaper. Powders. Uh, I'll take it down to... 140, sir. 420 blaze it. Nice. Okay, so I'm sort of getting the gist of... the sort of upper limits I can start charging people. Exceeded expectations! Hell the fuck yes. I've started swearing a lot more in this series. I don't know why. This doesn't seem like the sort of series that would usually incite swear words out of me. I don't... As you may have picked up, I don't tend to swear a huge amount. Uh, I generally save it for either comedic effects, which has the problem of diminishing returns. So the more I swear, the less funny it becomes when I swear. So I do tend to hold back on it. Or I generally swear when I'm legitimately angry about something. Um, or, you know, for emphasis, that sort of thing. But... Uh, for the most part, I don't do it much, and for some reason, this series, I just, I just keep swearing at it, and I don't know why. Oh well. Um, and one other thing I noticed is that I say bugger or buggery or anything like that a lot. Watching that um, hour-long Talos video I did last time, I said bugger like twelve times, and I didn't realise I was doing it until after I was watching it back and going, "That's a lot of buggery." An hour of buggery is, is perhaps too much buggery, even for the most enthusiastic buggerer of them all. What am I talking about? I'm playing another day. Yeah, let's see if we can get to uh, this episode a little bit longer. Right. 2,000 monies. See, these, these breads I'm not going to be able to sell 
too much. It's sort of buy low, but you sell them pretty low as well. So maybe it would be worth... All the Adventurers Guild's open. Nice! Let's go on an adventure! This is... This is the Adventurers Guild. It looks exactly the same as the Merchant Guild background. You, you couldn't have made it slightly different. Okay, the Adventurers Guild, Managers, Expeditions, Areas... Yeah, dun Dungeon Crawler, great. I want to go on a Dungeon Crawl. That's... Yeah, 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 okay, yes, yeah, so you already explained that go place, nick stuff, sell stuff. So we have to actually hire anybody. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to find anybody at the places, because I haven't been told I need to hire people yet. It will complicated. If you pay them, they're... okay. So I've got to make friends, make friends, hire friends. Okie dokie, yeah. Make friends, hire friends. If they give us a thing, if they give us a business card, we can hire them. You are a very strange little individual, Receipt. So I'm, I'm skipping through most of this because uh, it's not really worth yours or my time reading it aloud. Right. So we have to wait for a client to come who is an adventurer. And make be friends. Oh, is it gonna actually show as a person? You listen to me, random guy with Is that a, a what? I'm looking at his belt. That is a rope tied around another rope. And his clothing is held together with more rope. That must take you like six hours to put on of a morning. Just get a zip, mate. A zip or a buckle. You've got a buckle for your half jacket thing. I don't. I don't understand your your outfit design. I'm not saying it's not cool. I like the aesthetics of it, just the practicality of it seems like it just isn't worth the effort you must have to put in. Unless you just sort of slide it over your head every morning. If I can't work, I can't get the money, and if I can't get the money, I can't get the items, and if I can't get the items, I can't work. How many you... Okie dokie, if I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. Okay, so we give him shit, he works for us. Neat. I did it again, I swore, for literally no reason. God knows why. Yep, so he's sort of caught in a catch-22. So you got to pass a test. But he doesn't have the items to do the test, so if we supply him with items, he can do the test. Tia's off to recruit, because Tia knows what she's doing. Oh. Son of a... he's as bad as me. I burned what cash I had just getting to the city. Can't get into the guild, but I don't know what he will do for dinner money. Now I'm hungry. Great. Hey, we, we've got some bread. I can give you some bread. You there, adventure with a seedy look. Seedy is not the word I would have used to describe him. And that's just rude, to be perfectly honest. You're calling seedy. A fairy and a 12 year old. Well, 12, 6. How old was I saying she was last time? I think I said she was 12 and then changed my mind to saying she was 6. So, yes, you. Also, 6 year old adventurer. Come work for this six-year-old. It wouldn't have been too much to ask for them to make the characters look like they'd at least vaguely reached puberty. I don't... That shouldn't be too much to ask for a shopkeeper and an adventurer. Not, here are two literal children. I know that that's a thing with JRPGs, but usually, in a JRPG where a child is the adventurer, it's usually because, you know, they are the chosen one, and... You know, they've been forced into it effectively by the machinations of fate. Not, you're, t you're six. That's old enough for a job. Go out there and earn things, you parasite. Right, pair of merchants you've been patching. Merchants, so you've heard me talking. Sorry, mighty broke and seedy to buy anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, just get to the point where we're giving him free stuff. He isn't a plant. Prove me what? Would you like it? If we came with you to the Hall of Trials, if you require equipment or items, we can provide them. I'd call you a pair of angels then, but why? Business, naturally. We help you pass the trial, provide you with your card. 
we help Mr. Swordsman clear the dungeon, and then he gives us his card, a sign of our eternal friendship. This is why six-year-olds should not be in charge of, you know, business arrangements, because they fundamentally misunderstand every relationship they could possibly go into. Which isn't their fault, they're six. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What you say? I see, you guys are pretty new at all of this too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordsman, yes or no? He doesn't have a sword! How do you know he's a swordsman? For all you know, he's an archer. Or he likes to punch things. Or he's a wizard. I mean, I'm assuming that's not the getup a mage would have, but you're calling him a swordsman. If he had a sword, he wouldn't need your help. Alright then, heck, yes. nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Eh, yeah, I'm fairly sure you're ten a penny, mate. Yayifications. Okay, I'll I'll admit I quite like the attempt to give receipts and personality. I just don't particularly like the um the method they've chosen to do it. Yayifications is worse than some of the terrible words I make up. Glad to meet you two. Um I'm Receipt, nice to meet you. I am Tia. Call me Louis. Louis the swordsman. You don't have a sword, mate. I can't call you a swordsman if you don't have a sword. If I have to give you a sword, you're not a swordsman yet, are you? Right, shall we begin the preparations for a dungeon visit, including a visit to the central market to pick up food and other restorative items. Okay, so even the uh, the food's necessary for these guys then. I know that makes sense, but... We'll turn here when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. So we need to go to the town square, buy him stuff. Oh! It's an elf lady! So I assume that's supposed to be an elf. Again, she looks like a, another child. I know it's just, you know, it's not just the art style because there is a fairly obvious difference of ages in between characters. So you know, you've got the old man who was the guild merchant, um, um, guild leader, sorry, of the merchants' guild, and we've got that sort of reoccurring customer who is clearly between. Our age and the uh, and the old man's old older men's ages. So it's not just the art style makes everyone look young. They are legitimately making children to go fight these things. Big sis, wait. You walk up so fast. Wait up. That girl. Dear, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. You're looking at those sisters. Sisters. We only saw one of them. I mean, we heard the other one say something, but we don't know who it is. How do you think people see us? Well, we see you as a child and her as a fairy with wings coming out of her ass. You think we look like sisters? You're not even the same species, you stupid bint. See? Still, if we did, I'd be kind of happy. You know, I've just noticed on Receipt's wrist, she's got another belt. Why does she need a belt wrist? A wrist belt. That's... What? Why is that a thing? Like, that's not a, a bracelet or anything. That's... Probably isn't a watch. This is a fantasy game. Watches... Wrist watches generally aren't things. She just has... Has a what? A, a, a wrist belt. I don't... I don't understand. Okay, I guess you would be the big sister. That'd be really nice too. Right, sis, don't... Don't, don't start calling her sis. I know that's a... A, a Japanese, um... Thing. So, if you're unfamiliar with, um... Oh, right, so I've had a... Sorry, I thought I was going to the... I didn't need to go to the town square in the first place. I needed to go to the market, didn't I? Anyway. Um, so, in Japan, it is very rare to call someone by only their first name, um, unless you are uh, particularly close to them as a person. Um, if you're referring to them by their first name, you would almost always use an honorific of some description. The typical one being, sorry, the default one being San. Um, an equivalent in, in English would be calling someone Mr. or Mrs. Or miss, I suppose. 
Um, but the San, there's Sama, which is sort of a, a more respectable um, honorific. Exactly the equivalent of calling somebody Sir or maybe Ma'am, but um, it, it indicates they are you consider them of a higher status than yourself. Um, there are there's all sorts, um, but sort of a um, Onesan or Onisan um, means sort of brother and sister, and they can be refer used to. Um, Semi politely refer to. Um, it, it generally, a, a, a younger person might refer to a um, an older person as um, Onisan or Onesan, um, and it's sort of it's this line between. It would be like a, um, trying to think of an example. A a ten year old could refer to a seventeen year old, let's say, by those terms, despite them not actually being related. Uh, but they would then refer to a um, a thirty year old as San, and they refer to a forty year old as um, you know uh, maybe they, they, when they get to sort of thirty, they might start referring to them as aunt or uncle. Um, so some some um, some people can get quite testy if you try and use honorifics that are generally reserved for people in their middle ages uh, or older, and you, you start using it when they're in like their twenties or even thirties. It's, it's an age. This isn't important. We're getting, um, we're getting, we're getting stuff. Apple. Apple a day keeps the swordsman alive. Let's get a couple of them. And some bread. You need plenty of carbohydrates if you're going on an adventure. Right. I've got some bread. Yay! He's a level one swordsman. He has a worn sword, leather armor, wooden shield, old muffler. Uh, pick the items you wish to bring with you when finished, select the depart option. Okay. Have an apple. Have some bread. Well, I don't know how much we're going to need, so I'll give you everything for now. And hope for the best. Where's the depart button? Where's depart? Where? Oh, it was at the top. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hall of Trials. Why is Receipt here? Receipt doesn't have any weapons. She has a wrist belt. What's she going to do with that? Confuse the enemy to death? So this is the dungeon. Well, it's not a dungeon. This is the Hall of Trials. Welcome to the jungle. Are we going to hold Louis back here? Almost certainly. You're not a monster slayer. Two of us are perfectly safe. Protective field around the two of us. Is that why? Why do you two have a protective field? The monsters, we may as well be invisible. Okay, it's just a game mechanic. I'm not likely to get receipt eaten by a dragon. Why didn't her father have that? He got eaten by a dragon, so just let him have one of those. Anyway, so Louis is perfectly safe too. Uh, no. Why not? While on the field, we do not need to worry about monsters, but this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything. Okay, so we can't do shit. I did it. Jesus, why am I swearing so much? So, we're just sort of here, but we can't do much. Louis can do things. So he stays outside the field. Okay. So he hits things, picks stuff up. Uh, should I eventually be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. Okay. Right, so if he gets injured, we sort of forsake everything we've caught, but we don't have to worry about him literally dying. Oh, we can take one item. That's neat. So even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything. Well, he said we can't. Actually, if we get out safely, we're going to make many of our bags will allow us to carry. Actually, that bags will allow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've got it. We're just the pack mules. Got it. Can we... Can we do stuff? Okay, Oday, let's do it. Equip items in... Yes? Oh, okay, so that thing I was doing beforehand was moving stuff out of my stock inventory into my bag, and all of that bag stuff is now equipped to this dude. Neat. So, what do buttons do? Yeah! I'll cut ya. This is the start of a beautiful friendship. Stab. 
Slime! Stab! Stab! Ooh, double! Stab! Yeah! Killing slimes, getting money! At least I didn't feel the need to tutorialize the existence of slimes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, a thing! Gimme, give gimme give the thing, gimme the thing. Oh god! I've, I angered everything! It was a trap! Ah, uh, can't believe I fell for that. The only thing is, the slimes don't actually attack me, I had to walk into them to take all that damage. And they have a really predictable pattern as well. Christ on a badger, that was dumb of me. Is there a sprint button? No one but oh! Oh, that was my special attack and I just wasted it. Oh, buggery. And I could have used that against the blue things. Why, of all the things you've tutorialised, did you not tell me how to fight? Killing green slimes. Killing green slimes. Stab. Oh! Um. Yeah, slime fluid. Ooh. Go behind. Stab. Stab. Yeah, leveled up. And my SP's in, uh, recharged, so if I get surrounded by the little blue slimes again, because I'm dumb enough to open up a trap chest, then I can kill them all with it. Here we go. Right. So let's, uh, let's take out the green things first. I don't want to have to deal with everything at once. Come. This sword doesn't quite swing as far as I think it does. And I'm not sure whether that's me just not used to controls yet, or whether I feel like you should be able to attack slightly further than it actually is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, egg toast? Why was a slime carrying egg toast? Right. Present the armies. Oh. I found a shell necklace. It wasn't a trap. Great. I mean, I sound um, disappointed it wasn't a trap, but I, I wanted to, to show off that I'm not as bad at fighting as I actually am. Okay. Don't move, die. Yeah, level up again. Right, so let's go through here. Oh, are these things respawning? Yeah, they are, that's cool. Infinity monies. It's a machine. Oh, I think that's um I think when it pauses for a second and you get that red sort of glow, I think that's a critical hit, which I might have something to do with the getting to a certain level of the chain count, methinks. Right, yeah, pretty, yeah the, the green things are respawning, so let's just not waste too much time. Be dead slimes. Is that the end? I don't want to go to the end yet, I want to keep going. Right. Ow! Stop talking, deceit. Caution! Oh god! So that's why it's called the Hall of Trials. Because... Okay, I don't think it has anything to do with the chains, I think it's semi-random. I, I, I'm willing to bet that the critical damage is sort of related to the chains, but in a, a percentage way. So it's not that you reach a certain chain attack and you get a crit. It's more that the higher your chain, the more likely you are to do a critical hit, I'm guessing. Right, I have completely emptied this area of monsters and of items. Into the spinny magic circle of death. Oh, next floor! I think it was game over there. Neat. Right, let's go over here. Hey, a red one! He's dead. He's dead. Let's beat. There we are, it's dead. A thing! 
Get back. Yeah, mystery ingredient. Which I can't identify yet, but might be able to identify once I leave. Who knows? Or cares? Damn it, I used my critical attack on a wall. Yeah, getting monies. Let's keep going down. Right. I don't want to deal with the red guy and the potential trap of all the blue guys. There now, he's dead. Monies. Yeah, I'm collecting all the, these jewels. I don't think they're actually jewels. I think that's the indicator for experience points. I'm guessing. Right. So, what be the trap or treasure? I got a jacket. Yeah. Found me the almighty hoodie of trials. Die. Damn it. Why is it every time I get a critical hit, it's I miss when I'm actually supposed to be doing it? Right. Yeah. One sword. Now, here's the big question with the adventurers. Clearly, I'm getting all of the items from uh, this little endeavour. But do I pay them? A percentage of what they uncover, uh, uncover or recover, or do I pay them a flat rate? Because that's going to be interesting. Yeah, critical damage. I see you. Dead. Uh, let's leave that green one for the moment. He's in the next room anyway. Right. Reveal your secrets. To that close and yeah, victory for the Dark Lord. Critical damage, smash, smash. He's dead too. Why is that only a two chain? I didn't get damaged, did I? I was using the special reset the chain counter. Maybe. Oh yeah, got me a shield. Dead red. I see what you're trying to do here. Got those two. Ow, bugger it. I went to do my um, SP special attack thing, and I either got the position, the timing wrong, or I don't have the SP to do it. I don't know which. Because it doesn't exactly tell me what I need to have to use. Unless. Status, items, equipment, type of video. Right. Status? Um, button, one, controls and skills. Here we go! Right, so, it didn't tell me that I needed to look this stuff up. Of all the bloody things to tutorialise, not dying should have been one of them. Okie dokie, move attack, skill. I'll select the skill to use with button 3, use it with button 2. Oh, but I've only got one skill to choose from, that's alright. If hit by any non-magical ranged attack from the front while not attacking, we will block with the shield. Okay, so defense is automatic. Neat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going around and killing all of the things. May as well max out my experience. Again, I'm assuming that the jewels are an experience gain. Kinda wish there was a sprint function. Just just saying. Mystery ingredient. Is there any way of knowing how full my bag is? Because I haven't seen anything saying anything. Which could mean anything, could mean nothing. Um let's check the items. Ah, so I've got 16 out of 20 things. So... I keep pressing A thinking, oh, if I hold A, I'll run. But well, actually, I won't. I'm going to go to the next floor. Because... Ow! Because I want to find... I'm hoping that the higher... The higher the floor level I go to, the more likely I'll find rarer items. 
choice. <laughs> die. 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 Ow. Yeah, I tried to do the special attack. I don't have BSP for it. And then bounce off the bad guys twice. Right. Well, the first time I hit, got hit by the bad guy because I tried to do the special attack and couldn't. It's a goat man! Um, and the second time was merely that my character was caught in the getting back up animation as another one jumped at him. Are you? A, I think you're a goat. What are you? It doesn't say what you are. And you are of literally no threat unless I look you straight in the eyes. Like a Pokemon trainer. A long sword. Nice. Ow. Be dead, slime. Yeah, level up as well. Oh, the level up heals me. That's nice to know. My incompetence does not get eternally punished. Yeah. Oh, unless... I've just had a thought. Unless I... The jewels that the character is picking up is like... His payment? Like, I get the items, he gets the... The stuff and the things. That'd be a weird setup, but... Ow! Be dead, you buggers. Mystery ingredients. And we here. Slime. Slime. Be dead, slime. Now, I think I am right that the... The jewels are representative of his experience gains. Ah, oh, yeah. Cloth robe. I mean, I'll stand corrected on any of these things. But that's like 90% of my life is... Here's a thing I think is the case. I'll stand corrected on it, though. Which is, I think, a very healthy attitude to have. Never assume yourself to be infallible. Ah, yeah. Dead goat man. Right, I'm still gonna... I'm just gonna keep going up the floors because... Again, I want the items. The experience is, is nice. But... I don't want to waste my time, I don't want to waste your time, I want to get stuck. Die. Look at all these things. Oh yeah. Jewel for day. Can't carry anymore. Let's see. What have we... Items. Um. I've had a thought, do these things... Tell me what they do. So, button three, I think we decided was X. Recovers. So that recovers HP. HP. Slime fluid. Is it the body of the slime or the blood that holds it together? Who can tell? Egg toast recovers 24. Shell necklace is just a thing. Can't tell the unidentified ingredients. Uh, let's eat some bread. I was hoping there might be an SP boosty thing on there, but there isn't, so pick, pick it up, damn it. There we go. Die. 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 Stop being not dead. What's this? Can't carry. Okay, this is where the... I, I keep pressing the wrong bloody button. This is where the item management is going to become a thing. So... Let's see. It makes sense. A long sword plus four. Nice. It makes sense to just use up all the. Oh. So I just have to chuck it then. Right, well, the apples, I think. Yeah. So we'll throw away the walnut bread on account of that being the least value. Because the apples are worth 300. The slime fluid worth a hundred, so I think I'll make that the next thing to go, but... Chocolate bar! Nice. Uh, Okie dokie. Scrap plate. A bit of armour. the hell are you? I don't... I don't know what you are. Be gone with me. And 
Activate trap. Oh. Okay. Slime fluid away. And it's ooh a bangle. A wooden armband. Uh, nice. Hey, who threw that rock? How bloody dare you! Throwing rocks is not nice. Hitting people with swords is perfectly acceptable, but throwing rocks is just mean. Slime, 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 slime. Ow. There's the thing, the damage sort of creeps up on you a little bit here. Sort of, um... You miss time or you attack. Or you go, oh, they're below me. Oh, no. Ow. Cut. Yo. Shoot. Out. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Level up. Nice. Okay. Item management. I just heal. The thing is, I just um, leveled up, so I healed as a result. Right. Slime fluid. Be gone. Now, I didn't want the slime fluid back. Slime fluid be gone. Give me this thing. Chestnut. Oh no, whatever shall I do? What? I'm trapped. Hey! Why did some of you die and some of you not? Don't want the slime fluid. Okie kokey. Ah! Traps are kind of annoying. I do like that you get that um, little yell of warning going, Oh no, a trap! I think that is a, a good design. Because you can't see them. Not yet. Yeah. You can't necessarily see the traps coming. You do just get the um, receipts warning yell. Unfortunately, you don't necessarily know what you need to do to get out of the bloody way just with a yell. So, we'll see. Let's go here. I'm sort of seeing why this is a, a two time slot activity now. Because it is taking quite a bit more time than I thought it would for something labelled the Hall of Trials. I thought as the starting level it would just be, yeah, here's three things, go do. But no, we're, we're, we're here for days. Ow. Cut it out. Was that a waste of a special attack? Yes. Do I care? I mean, kind of, but... Damn it! There we go. Everything is made of dead. Oh, he's slightly injured. Better uh, ram an apple up in him. Yeah, yeah. I wish recovery was that easy in real life. Ah, oh, I'm slightly injured. Better eat this apple and I'll be healthy again. Yeah. NHS would save a fortune. Either that or restaurants would cost a hell of a lot more. One of those two. Moving on. Ooh. The almighty thing of things. This is... Did I do it? I did, didn't I? I did it, I've cleared the halls of trials. Oh sweet mystery of life, now you'll give me money. Way to go, Louis. Receipts, tier, this is all thanks to you guys. This is all well and good, but there is a treasure chest just ahead. It behooves us to investigate thoroughly. Tia, you really do like going for the money, don't you? That's her job! It's her job to get money. She's literally, the only reason she's partnered, and partnered in the loosest possible terms, with you, is because you owe her money. Not even her specifically. The company who hired her. I do not, do not fout, spout such foolishness. It's not foolishness. It's literally your job. Don't treat me like a flying ball of greed. Hey, hey, now. I love me some treasure too. Don't worry, Tear. I feel you on this. You two completely misunderstand me. Right. So. Hall of Trials. Final treasure chest of awesome. Do I actually have room for it? Uh, I got room for one thing. Now, 
Who's willing to bet that hitting this will actually start the final boss of the area? So the contents of the chest. Give me just a second here. Hey. Wow, cards. This is an Adventurer's Guild card. Yeah, hey. receipt. Take oh. one, like we promised. So, <laughs> all of this to get some business cards. Well done, buddy. I'm sure it was worth risking life and limb for that. Well, while you did promise to give us your card eventually, we are not so crass as to demand your very first card. You really should think about who you want to give your first. Just take the damn thing. Please take my very first card. I'd love to, thanks, Louis. Awesome, oh, I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Mad really now, young people. What? Oh! A door of magic! Yeah. Hey, dear, what's this thing? It's a door receipt! We had this last time! Oh, Jesus. Well, I think receipt just has a blind spot for the existence of doors. Hence the reason when there was a knock at the door, she didn't know what to do. And she needed Tia to specifically tell her to walk out of doors. And now she doesn't understand that a door has appeared in front of her. It's the exit. It's just commonly referred to as a go-ho. As in, go home. What am I? A door of return, I mean. So is there a joke there I'm missing? Is Goho a reference to something else? If you enter that door, you can return to the town in an instance. This one appeared because we've cleared the dungeon. But they often encountered during normal exploration too. I believe they usually have every five levels or so. Okie dokie. We take this back to town when we're halfway in. Don't we have to start all the way from the beginning again? Not at all. You can always head back to the floor that had a door on it. Okay, so go through a door and you can return back again. If you... Do not use a door, you do have to restart. Okay, so if I go exit the dungeon by anything other than the door, I have to restart it. That's fine. So if I find a door, we should always use it. Almost always, if you need to arrest and load, then you should use the door. Remember though, returning home takes time. Leaving ends the current contract with our companion, and we have to rehire him or choose a new one. Okay. If there is something specific in the dungeon you desire, you can simply ignore the doors and press onwards. Alrighty, interesting. I mean, I'm, again, don't think this needs explaining 20 times, but please try to avoid referring to this as going home. Oh, okay. Go home. I don't... Oh! Okay, I don't think this is the case. It's, I, I suspect it is probably a reference joke. But if it later turns out that fairies are from a different part of the world and that actually go home is like a racist insult to them and that's why she is slightly sensitive to that term, that would be an interesting turn to take. I don't. I think it is just a reference. And she's saying, don't call it going home because, you know, copyright infringement. But I would be interested if that is the decision this thing decides to make. You know, most people push doors open, they don't hit it with a sword. Oh, righty hoo, victory for the Dark Lord. Rearrange? I don't care about rearranging stuff. I think that's a decent haul. Nice. I want to rearrange. How do I. Okay. And now it's night time. Uh, oh, the pub and the town square are flashing. If I return now, no time will pass, but if I go to one of these two things, it'll probably take time to get back. Let's go to the pub while we're here. I mean, I can sell stuff tomorrow. Hmm, what is this? Say, Tia, is alcohol yummy? Well, you're six, so you shouldn't be touching alcohol in this first place. I've only tried it once before myself. How old are you, Tia? Because, I mean, I'm assuming you're older just by your general mannerisms. But it is hard to tell with the fairy characters aren't. You don't exactly look much older than the others. Aside from, you know, glasses and... Literally, yeah, it's just the glasses give you a slightly aged look. But, again, you're a fairy, so it makes sense you have a slightly different aesthetic. But... 
Then again, if you have tried alcohol before, that implies you're over 21. 21 being the um, Japanese drinking age, for those who aren't aware. Japanese game. I'm going to keep making Japanese references. I like Japan, okay? It's awesome. If you haven't been there, go there. It is arguably the best country in the world. I know America likes to claim that title, but the they don't. The, America is an objectively awful place. Uh, Japan. Japan is awesome. Go. Go Japan. Go to Japan. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Alcohol. I hated it. It's stank of barrels. Stank of barrels? Most alcoholic beverages... Okay, right, so you didn't like the fact that it tasted... It didn't smell of barrels, it tasted of oak, is what you're trying to say. Wooden smell, yeah. Not similar to anything you drink a tree. That doesn't sound yummy at all. To be honest, the popularity of the substance baffled. Me too, Tia. I legitimately do not understand the appeal of alcohol. Um, I don't know, I've probably mentioned this before on the, the videos. I don't drink at all. I can't stand the taste of the stuff. And I don't see any reason to try and acquire a taste for it if all it does is rob you of your ability to think clearly. I mean, I know it's like a mood enhancer, but my... well, I don't really have much in the way of emotion, so maybe enhancing them would be a good idea, but I don't want to do that at the cost of understanding anything that's happening around me. That is a bizarre situation to want to put yourself in. Um, and I'm not a outgoing individual, let's say, so I don't feel the need to use it as a um, recreational, interpersonal communal activity. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I honestly don't understand. If alcohol was discovered today, instead of, you know, hundreds of years ago when it was initially found, because originally it was, a, it was um, necessary for purifying water, effectively. People would drink beers and ales instead of water because there were toxins in the water, because bacteria wasn't known at the time. And the alcohol killed them all, so it was necessary to drink um, uh, at least low levels of alcohol. A lot. Um, but I say, if it was discovered today, it's just, here's a substance that smells awful, tastes foul, um, makes people act in antisocial ways, induces vomiting, is lethally poisonous, is addictive, destroys the liver... Um, doesn't kill brain cells, it just prevents new brain cells from forming. That's what the memory loss is comes from. It's not you're destroying the brain cells that hold memory, it's just your brain has lost the ability to make the um, connections necessary to, to remember stuff. There's absolutely no way in hell that wouldn't be a controlled and possibly even completely illegal substance. And while we put age restrictions on it and limit, you know, who can sell it, it is still far more readily available than logic would dictate it should be. <laughs> it always sells well, so stocking it is a good way to make some money, but... But barrels. Barrels. BARRELS! We are 2012 era PewDiePie now. Um, town Square still flashing, going home will still take a time slot, so let's go to the Town Square. Brr. At night the plaza is so quiet, it's almost scary. Let's return home quickly. It's a dangerous time for a girl to be wandering about. You're six, and you've got a bag full of swords. I think, well, you're probably still in danger, because I don't think you know how to use a sword. Right, a cute girl like me can end up in all sorts of peril. You are more likely to forget your way home than encounter danger, Receipt. I do not recall seeing anything about you being cute. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. Home, home with her. Hey, what are you kids doing out this late? Oh heaven, the hoodlum! Hoodlum's gonna steal my cuteness. <sighs> Who is there? Show yourself! It's the Guildmaster! Of course it is, he's literally the only other character we've met outside of the Adventurer's Guild. So, I mean, no need for alarm. Thank goodness I was about to call a... Gendarme? What in the buggering hell is a gendarm? That's not words! Gendarm, gendarm. Come on, phone, let me Google with G E N D A. No, that's an F, not a D. D A R M E. 
Gendarm. Gendarm is a military component with jurisdiction civil law enforcement. The right to the term gendarme is derived from the medieval French expression gendarmes, which translates to armed people. Is, seriously, is Tia French? Is that, is that a thing? Is she actually French? Is that the other reason she doesn't like the term go home? It's not a fairy thing, it's just a French thing? Appearance like that, his, it's not unre That's just mean! He's only got a beard. Beards are awesome. Stupid six-year-old. Right! Yeah, yeah. Good night, Tia. Bugger off. Okay. Profits minus 600. So, with our profits gone down, but we've exceeded expectations because we just found a whole load of stuff. Okay, so... I, I didn't intend this uh, video to be an hour long. I wanted a 20 minute video. But after 20 minutes, we only sold like three things. It wasn't worth doing. But, uh, I'm giving myself hiccups. But at least we have done the adventuring side now. And the adventuring side was interesting. It was fun. I liked it. It was simple. But it didn't need to be complicated because, as I said, it's sort of it's a counterbalance to the, the store aspect. I think the, the main focus is intended to be the shop simulator aspect. And the um, adventuring side is just sort of to counterbalance it. So it is, I, by the looks of it, it's fairly simplistic. But I like it. I'm enjoying myself. And you're enjoying yourself too because I goddamn tell you you are. Because I want to keep playing this game. Though I very much suspect this will go the way of Punch Club and nobody will watch it. So I may have to sort of gradually fade it out. Which would be a pity. I liked Punch Club. And I will go back to that again at some point probably. But... I think Punch Club is going to take a turn for the grindy if I'm not careful. And I'm not sure my editing skills are up to the task of getting rid of the grindy elements and still keeping the entertainment elements without it just being me playing for six hours and getting five minutes of footage. Not important. I'm waffling. This game is fun. I'm enjoying the Sen. Hopefully you're enjoying the Sen too. Bye. <laughs>